Nick, tell us about a problem that can't be solved. So new research from uh, Deakin's Cradle, so that's the Center for Research and Assessment in Digital Learning, cuts through just this endless cycle of AI assessment, quote, solutions with a brutal reality check. There is no solution. Right? So university educators aren't failing to find the right approach. They're wrestling with what corporate consultants love to call a wicked problem, right? It's rare that I find myself nodding along to management speak, but this particular bit of jargon actually captures something real. These aren't challenges with the correct answer, right? These are, there are only trade-offs that hurt. And the study reveals that teachers are caught in impossible binds. So make assessments AI proof and kill creativity, embrace AI integration and sacrifice the academic integrity. Try both and drown in an utterly unsustainable workload. What's striking here is how educators keep saying that they're at a loss, not because they're incompetent, but because they're confronting a problem designed to resist solutions. And the Cradle team's prescription isn't another framework, but is a series three radical permissions to compromise, to diverge, and to iterate. I'd say this is a rare academic admission that sometimes the smartest response to an impossible problem is to stop pretending it's solvable. I really did love one of the uh, headings or titles in the, in the piece and it said there's no end to the number of solutions or approaches to a wicked problem. There's no silver bullet for this. This is one that happens through ongoing conversation and understanding and, and working through all the different and endless permutations that we keep getting.